Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon R7 and Sony A6600. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon R7 and the Sony A6600 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 24th of May 2022 and the 28th of August 2019. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon R7. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A6600. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon R7 and the Sony A6600. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon R7. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A6600. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon R7. I've had this camera for a year and it's been great. The image quality, autofocus and build are exceptional. And the touchscreen and battery life are big pluses. It's been a great investment for my photography and videography needs. I find the camera to be a decent upgrade from my previous one. It works well with my lens and teleconverter, but the noise performance could be better. The battery life is okay, and there's some distortion in the viewfinder. Overall, I'm satisfied with it for the price I paid. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A6600. The A6600 is a great mirrorless camera for Canon users looking for faster burst shooting and better focus. I love the fast burst speed and focus options, and the size of the lenses is a plus. The touchscreen menu doesn't bother me, and I prefer the buttons. The A6400's grip was too small for the 70 to 180 lens, but the A6600's bigger I recently upgraded from the A6000 to the A6600 and I couldn't be happier. As a stills photographer, the A6600 is a steal at $998 per body and has a suite of incredible capabilities, great eye autofocus, and a comfortable feel in the hand. I also added the new Sigma 18 to 50mm f2.8 zoom lens and the results are fantastic. Don't waste your money on a kit lens. Get this Sigma zoom for your Sony APS-C and don't look back. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon R7. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Sony A6600. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10.